Good morning, folks. The earthquake watch is peaking with the signal in the solar wind. We've got terrestrial meteorology and perhaps a bit on exoplanets, too. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were very calm. We're in the low point here of the 11-year sunspot cycle, and solar flaring is following suit. Large coronal hole, though. And with the plasma speed of the solar wind dropping out and the phi angle shifting, too, we are entering a new sector of the heliospheric current sheet. Interplanetary magnetic field connections to the incoming southern coronal hole are imminent, and this four-day lull in the earthquake production should be over with the passage of that opening. Up next, as we watch the pre-sunrise lightning show in the valley yesterday, which began while the news was uploading, we are going to springboard this into forecast modeling of the tropics. We are starting with the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. The tropical wave amidst the islands will reach southern Florida tomorrow, and by Wednesday, the Gulf Coast should be prepared for whatever that storm will bring. Meanwhile, the first good Atlantic system in weeks should be tracking north into open waters at that time. Just a little jump over to Hawaii where we confirm the northward shift of that storm heading in that direction. That's good news. And last but not least, not so good news for Japan. Impact coming in about one day. Preparations are already well underway. Let's go next to the top stories. Well, sort of here at first. Aftershock prediction. Now in truth, there is a bit more to this than waiting for a big one and then saying, I think aftershocks will occur. But alas, one cannot help themselves in wishing there was a way to predict the big ones in the first place. Seems like that may be more valuable. But what do I know? Up next, exoplanets. Thousands found. Many with an incredible amount of water, but it has always been believed that too much water was a hindrance to life thinking that the chemical cycles in the geology wouldn't be there to support it unless the world was much closer to an Earth clone with at least some surface lands. However, a new study on total water worlds, covered in ocean, are now challenging that concept. Chicago and Penn State teaming up to realize the life-giving potential of, uh, water. Folks, the first pre-order batch went in minutes yesterday. Those begin shipping out in about 10 days. The second batch of pre-orders won't arrive to us until October, so I was able to discount that one slightly as well to compensate the month you'll have to wait. Website members, not only did we have an incredible podcast session yesterday, but your September Planetary Geometry is posted as the 67th Deeper Look episode on the year. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.